Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the Goodreads group is in the description below if you want to check that out. This week's topic is our favorite urban fantasies. So these are fantasy novels that tend to have paranormal creatures in them or magic, but mostly the criteria has to be that it exists within our real world. Most of these are contemporary, but they could be historical fiction or future fiction. I don't read a lot of gritty urban fantasy that takes place in cities a whole lot, and I do tend towards magic more than supernatural paranormal creatures, so just a fair warning on this list. <laughs> I worked with what I read, guys. There are also probably other books behind me that fit into this category, but I kind of liked these ones better, just saying. So the first book I picked is Moon Called by Patricia Briggs. This is the first book in the Mercy Thompson series. I have just recently read this and it focuses on Mercy Thompson who is a mechanic in Washington State in the Tri-City area and she has the magical ability to turn into a coyote so she can shapeshift and she gets caught up in werewolves and vampires and fairies and crazy things happening out there so that's the fantasy part of it. I really love the way that this world is built. I love Mercy as a character. I love the fact that she's a mechanic, which is not something we see a lot of female mechanics. Uh, she's also pretty smart and clever and I just adore her. So that's why Mercy Thompson's on this list. So my next pick is Jane Bites Back and the entire Jane Austen Vampire series by Michael Thomas Ford. These feature Jane Austen, you know, the 18th century writer. Uh, if she had been turned into a vampire and survived and was living in our current modern day times. So these take place in a small town, so I'm a little reluctant to put them higher on the list since they're less urban. But I do love this series. I love Jane Austen and I love the struggles that she goes through with trying to write another book and get it published, but also she can't tell everybody that she's the Jane Austen of Pride and Prejudice. Like there's all this fame and everything in her books or turn into movies, but like she can't take any of that credit. She isn't making money off of that stuff anymore. It's very bookish. She works in a bookstore. Her, the person who turned her into a vampire is Lord Byron, and she's got a feud going on with Charlotte Bronte, and I am super loving this. Tons of vampires, and it's great is what it is. I love the feel of these books. Next on my list is the Jane Madison series by Mindy Klasky. This one is Magic and the Modern Girl, but book one is A Girl's Guide to Witchcraft. Please follow Jane Madison. I'm pretty sure she's in Washington, D.C. But she's a librarian and she works at this like small specialty library. And they can't afford to pay her full wage anymore. So they let her stay in this house to offset her money. So she doesn't have to pay rent for that and then gets a small amount of money. Anyway, that part's not important. The interesting part is that she finds this hidden room in the house. And it has all these hidden magic books. And Jane starts reading them and she finds out that she can do magic. And so she gets brought into this world of witches and paranormal things and witchcraft and trying to navigate all that. Um, also, she's a librarian, which I super love. So this series is just tons of fun. I also super loved American Gods by Neil Gaiman. This one follows Shadow as he is released from prison. And he tries to go home to see his wife, Laura, but he finds out that Laura died in a car accident. And while he's on his way home, he encounters the mysterious Mr. Wednesday who offers him a job. And since Shadow no longer has anything in his old town to keep him and doesn't have a job, he agrees to take Mr. Wednesday's job offer. And he gets dra dragged into this world of gods and magic and mysterious things happening and belief and I love it it's a little bit different than some of the paranormal stuff because we're dealing with gods rather than werewolves and magic and witches um, but I love the way that this world is fleshed out I loved seeing how all these different old folklores from Europe or Asia or something gets brought to the states and how it evolves and changes in America and as Things also just a change with time. So we have like Native American gods also evolving. I love just the whole way that this world is built up. And I love Shadow as a character and feeling his struggles and just everything that happens to him. So it's super interesting. So yes, I love American gods. 
And my number one pick for urban fantasy is the Enchanted Ink series by Shanna Swanson. This one focuses on magic and witches and wizards, uh, but there are some other creatures in there like fairies and dragons to make it interesting. One of follows Katie Chandler, who does not have magic. She can't do magic at all. In fact, she is so not magical that magic doesn't work on her. She is immune to it, which is really good. This company, MSI Inc., Magic Spells and Illusions Inc., hire her because she can uh, see through magic. So they're a business company. They produce spells and sell it on the market, but magic people like to test boundaries, and so they will frequently try to hide clauses and contracts and stuff or sneak into buildings and so they need non-magical people like Katie who are immune to it to tell them what's actually happening, what is actually in the contract, who is actually standing in front of you. She gets dragged on all these crazy adventures and it's so much fun. I love it. There's definitely a romance element to these, like it's chick lit meets fantasy and I adore it so much. This is my favorite. So those were my top five picks for urban fantasy. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorites. Feel free to tell me if any of these don't really count as urban fantasy. I was using a very loose definition of the genre. So I'd appreciate any likes, shares, or subscribes you guys want to give me also. And peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye!